Hi guys, Dave and Todd here, and today we're going to show you how to do a full disassembly of an indoor unit on a mini split. And the reason we're doing this, we had a client, we'll call him Don, who had one, he didn't have an infrared thermometer, he had one of those probe type thermometers, and he lost his balance on a ladder and it jammed up into the unit and it broke off some of the uh, blades on his blower wheel. And so, we thought, okay, let's show how we actually do a full disassembly here, because that unfortunately is pretty much what's required to put in a new blower wheel. So uh, Todd is going to show how to uh, disassemble here from from the beginning to end. All right. Well, before we move down one notch, I just wanted to point out these tabs that the outside cover drops over the top of them. So when you're fighting trying to get it off, that means you need to lift it up a little bit higher to get it off the tabs. Okay. Right. And also turn turn the power off on your unit before you start <laughs> do, playing around with this because uh, you don't want to get damaged yourself or your unit. So once the power is off, so you'll see these little right there. You pull up on there to get this cover off. And yeah, first thing we're going to do is take out the blade so it's not in our way. And just pull the slide to the right, and it pulls that pin out of the holder, and then slightly bend it. And light it up. Then there's hidden screws inside here. You take a little screwdriver and pop them up. I just take them out of the way so they're out of the way. Look at that. And that exposes some Phillips head screws that need to come out. Like that one. And that one. That one on the table. Then take the filters out. Just so you don't you don't have to, but it's just better to dang them, dang them up. So by the way, as long as you're cleaning these filters once a month or once a quarter or maybe once a week, depending on your environment, a lot of maintenance that will save you an ounce of prevention. It's worth a pound of cure because that will help keep keep everything inside here cleaner and better. And so you might not have to ever do much full coil cleaning. If you're in a humid environment, it's different. Algae, et cetera, can moss, mold, all kinds of stuff can grow in when there's dirt and everything's alive in your environment. But here in Las Vegas, it's pretty dry, so we don't use, as long as we're cleaning the filters, we usually don't have to do much coil cleaning. All right, so next step is we've got to take the cover off where the electrical is. And aside. And then we've got three screws here in the front. I call them the middle, middle screws. Okay. Next, up here, there's a sensor, temperature sensor. Just probe that sticks in here. Just unweave that through the little notches like that so it's free. And then you'll have a connection for the display on the door in here somewhere. Hiding. Nope. There it is. And it's just a normal Molex plug with a little clip that pulls it loose. Sort of. Like that. Now we can take because you don't even have to take the door off. You can leave the door attached to the, the housing. Okay. It's a bit of a struggle at times. You can get it. Pass that. So did you have to do anything up top for those clips at top? No, no, you're right. It's the beginning. So you just got to lift up on it. Just lift up on, yeah. on it. Be careful good. not to lift too hard. You'll lift the thing right off the wall now. Okay. <laughs> Now, cover off the electrical. It's just a little cover right here. That comes off. Get that out of the way. The big one comes off. They're just clipped on with those screws. That comes off. Oops. <laughs> and then your blower uh, motor 
third plug is right here, somewhere right here. I'm going to disconnect that. <clears throat> So probably, if you're doing this at home, you probably want to take some photos to uh, know which wires go where. Yeah, it's just a simple Molex plug with a safety on it. You got to take the safety out to get it to release. Doing this little screwdriver in there. There you go. All right. Now, some screws to go out. Put on. Screw. Hold this electric box on. Right here. The electric box, it slides. Come loose. Up like that. Now that's out of the way. So probably want to. Uh, may have to disconnect the uh, this zip tie here. Put a new one on. Um, I didn't last time I did it. It, it stayed on there okay. It wasn't it wasn't a problem. Okay. So this whole thing has got to lift up, mind you, though. All right. Now I'll scoot over a little bit. Dave will get a little bit closer and see the screws. Kind of hidden. If you're looking here, way down that corner is one inside there. I don't know see, but it's there. Is it below the uh, coil? I see it's one right. below the coil. It's, it's right down oh, there. Oh, I see it. Okay. And then there's one right there that holds the coil, this to the coil. And then there's two back here. So there's one down. Yeah, four all together. Yeah, I'll stick my screwdriver in there. You'll see it. Right down there, right? Yeah. Right there. It's a piece of plastic. Uh, this is some clear protection stuff on there. That's blocking the view, but there's a screw down there. And by the way, most mini splits are going to be have similar yep. uh, pattern here of screws holding stuff together because there's just so many manufacturers of these indoor units uh, and you know suppliers of parts and things so that will tend to be similar you got a bad a challenging angle of approach there it's, it's loose it's just hung up on the plastic it's all right okay so the next one would be this one right here which you got to unplug move the sensor out of here coil sensor where's your sensor you're moving uh, it was in that sleeve right there okay so that slides in there it slides in that little copper sleeve. Yep. So that the, this probe right here yep. needs to be put back in there. And that one comes out. Don't, don't worry if you drop screws that in there. You can pick them out later when you get this cover off. And then we got one way in there. Uh, I see one uh, attached to the uh, coil. Yeah, I'll get okay. a headlamp and shine it in there. Oh, I light. see it. It's uh, it's on the plastic, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it actually holds the plastic to that. Uh, it's right there in the middle, I think. We'll find out. Yep, straight down in there? Yeah. This is the one that's kind of difficult to get to. Sometimes you gotta slightly bend the copper just a little bit so you can re-access it. Oh, it's behind there. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got it at an angle. Have All right, you... approximately three days later, <laughs> uh, you'll see that plastic uh, tab. And so that's what's holding the coil to the housing for the uh, blower motor. So see how that's pushed in now? Uh, Kyle was able to push that in, and now the coil will move up. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, and with that, we're thinking we can get the screw. That one right there? That nasty screw that... Uh, stripped out. Nasty stripped out screw. So yeah, now, now the main thing holding this is the line set, keeping the coil from coming up as a line set. So, I mean, you can, again, you can 
massage it up, but you don't want to uh, bend it too aggressively because that uh, you'll have a refrigerant leak. Let's see what we got left in the screw here. The screw looks pretty healthy. It's like me going to the dentist and my dentist assessing the health of my teeth. That looks healthy. Wait, that's a keeper. That's worth the root canal. It moved. It did move. There you go. Just that easy. Okay, so while we got that lifted up, this plastic piece has to come off for the blower to come out. And you gotta lift it up because you'll see that it needs to clear it inside here. And there's a little effort to get it out. This kind of gets stuck on all kinds of things, you know? And of course, half the challenge for this is that this unit is on the wall and you're having to stand on a step ladder. Almost there. And the working environs aren't perfect, but. Yeah. All right. Then. There's your motor. So if your yeah. motor ever goes out, there's, yeah. there's where your motor is yeah, located this on thing the lifts up. right the hand whole side. Thing comes out. Yeah. Holds the wiring hold it right here. The wire, you know, you see the ball the whole thing out. The blower wheel and everything comes with it. Like that. Alright. Is this so this is attached? Yeah. And we'll show how to detach that here okay. momentarily. The, uh, to this to, to take it loose from the motor, that screw right there. The gaff right here? There, yeah. Stick we'll a screwdriver, yep. a flat blade, or a Phillips head, and loosen that, and this motor slide right on. Okay. And, and so sometimes this will get gummed up, and you can take it totally out, spray right. it down. And, and if there's not grease, like this has got grease on the end of it, because this goes inside of a bearing down there, um, you know, throw a little grease on it, and, and it'll last a long time. It'll spin freely. Okay. All right. Is that it? Anything else we need to say? Well, then you got to put it back together when you're <laughs> And then you have the fun of it, taking it. When you it. slide this in? But this is it now. So you could also, while you're at it, you could get the, to the back of the back of the coil and clean that maybe too. Yeah, check your drain pan out. Make sure you don't have any you know, debris in it. Um, when you're sliding this back in, you got to make sure and line that pin up on the hole back there. Okay. You'll feel it. It won't go all the way in unless that's in. Right. And then you'll have problems. And so none of these wires from the uh, uh, communication control wires needed to be taken off. So don't yeah, waste your time yeah, just for the motor. doing that. Just just for this motor, the Molex plug for the motor. Um, good. We'll uh, let you have the fun of putting everything back together at home. Thanks.